We can't prevent every illness and sickness in life. I'm talking about cancer, but there are many risk factors that we can avoid very easily. For instance, alcohol, obesity, eating red meat. It's pretty simple. You might think, well, so if I get cancer, I have a team of good doctors, they'll just operate and they'll remove it, and I'll probably have a good chance with uh, chemotherapy. So this is why I want to tell you about my patient I had in a hospital in South Florida. At this time, I had not gotten my medication uh, course done yet because I was a recent graduate and they used to do things a little separately back then. So I was the treatment nurse in this hospital, a hospital with a very fine reputation. Anyway, so the other nurses gave medication, and I just did treatments. And I was plenty busy, you can imagine, with the bed sores, etc., changing dressings. So the doctor had to show me exactly what he wanted after surgery for this one particular man who had a cancerous tumor removed from his abdomen. Now, he explained to me that there was also an infection in the surgical site, and they removed uh, much of the infectious material, of course, during the surgery. But because it was still there, the infection, they did not want to close up the wound with stitches. They wanted to leave it open so they could treat it directly not just with the medication in the mouth or through the veins, directly in the open wound. So believe it or not, the doctor wanted me to pour a small bottle of hydrogen peroxide into this open wound every day. Every day I was there, of course. So, so picture this, the wound is like, you know, like seven inches long. And, and instead of being closed with stitches, it's open like this, raw flesh. So picture me pouring a small bottle of hydrogen peroxide right into this open wound. You know how much hydrogen peroxide hurts if you have a small cut on your finger or on your leg. You know that. So can you imagine the screams of this patient every day? I mean, he tolerated it. He wanted to live. But I'm bringing this up because just like, just like my video about not, not smoking, I'm going to ask a question. You're not worried about cancer. You want to enjoy whatever you're enjoying that's risky. But what if you don't just die all of a sudden? What if you're getting these kinds of terrible, painful, excruciatingly uncomfortable treatments? He had a good doctor. He had the, one of the best hospitals. But he still had to go through this. They, you know, they didn't knock him unconscious, you know, with drugs every time he had this hydrogen peroxide poured into his open wound. No. And this was every day. Now, isn't it easier to go on a healthy diet, to stop eating so much red meat, to exercise, to not be sedentary, to, you know, cut down on the alcohol, maybe eventually not have any alcohol, to stop smoking, all, all of these risk factors. I'm planning to put a link below about the different risk factors that are modifiable, that we have something that we can change. I'm planning to put that below or in the description of the video. So think about it. I was there. Nobody's making up this story. I was there. 